And we're joined now by the voice of soccer on TSN, Luke Wildman, and the former Canadian national team member, Claire Rustad, who are on the call on TSN for Christine Sinclair's final match internationally. And, uh, well, I know it's hard to pick one moment from Tuesday night, guys, but Luke, I'm going to start with you. Is there one moment from Tuesday night that really stood out for you in this incredible evening? Well, it wasn't Claire joining in with Celine Dion's Power of Your Love with the rest of the stadium <laughs> and all the players on the pitch after the game. I had my flashlight going on my phone and everything. <laughs> she did, unfortunately. <laughs> but I tell you what, it, hearing Christine Sinclair talk at the end of the night about it being a perfect night really encapsulated everything that went on. Just the fact that there were 48,000 people here shows the strength of feeling for Christine Sinclair. That moment when she came off the pitch, the ovation she got, the fact that she passed the armband on to Sophie Schmidt, who was also coming on for her final appearance. 557 caps between the two of them. Canada's first and second all-time appearance leaders. And even at the start of the night, when they were honoring Schmidt and Sinclair and McLeod, and they all came through the tunnel of the 2012 Olympic team, that was really that moment when, when this team got put on the map. Um, it just ended up being the perfect night, didn't it? And they even got the victory to go with it, Claire. Yeah, I'm not the most uh, outwardly emotional person. I'll, I'll fully admit that. But, but the two moments that really got me were coming out of the tunnel. Uh, when Christine actually came out of the tunnel to the, 20, uh, the 2012 sort of honor guard that they had set up. That was the first moment it felt really real. Uh, and that's the first moment where I actually got a little bit got a little bit teared up and then was watching her finish singing the anthem at the end where, where, where Christine actually also teared up. You could really see how much the moment meant to her. And I think that was one of the things I just really wanted for her tonight was to actually feel those moments and, and to, to really experience them. Uh, and, and hopefully she did. Luke, you have called some of Christine's biggest moments. Claire, you played alongside her throughout your international career. As far as her career is concerned, and Claire, maybe I'll start with you for this one. Uh, what moment stands out most to you? It's actually a couple. The first one for me I was actually involved with was that under-19 World Championship in Edmonton in 2002. And that was the moment where, where I think Christine Sinclair was really seen amongst at least dedicated soccer fans and in dedicated soccer households as a big star. And within, within Canada, people started to take notice. But I think the moment, as Luke already mentioned, that really put her on the map it was in 2012 where she just grabbed this team hauled it out of relative obscurity not a lot of people knew who played for this team that they weren't household names she grabbed the team by the scruff of the neck with that performance at old trafford and just slammed it right in the middle of the mainstream media uh sport conversation in canada and that's really the moment where internationally and globally her uh her impact was felt I'm impressed you didn't pick your two assists for the big moments of Christine Sinclair's career. You I, I wouldn't call them stellar. Two of those 190 goals that Christine Sinclair scored. One was scored. off my face. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it, it did the trick, right? It was. It, it did. They all count. Um, but you talk about 2012. I, I had the chance to be in the booth for that one. And, you know, that hat trick, the way that um, against the U.S. on that day, the, the controversial ending to the game, um, Christine Sinclair just really putting that team on her back and scoring an incredible hat trick at one of the sporting cathedrals in the world was was incredible. The other one that stands out for me was that first game at Commonwealth Stadium of the World Cup. Canada hosting the World Cup in 2015 on home soil didn't go to plan and it was still nil nil in the very last minute. And with all those people holding their breath and the country watching, Christine Sinclair steps up, scores one nil win against China. Um, just a magnificent moment for her and for the country. Absolutely. And, you know, Christine Sinclair touched on it a little bit in her interview with Claire Hanna. You guys did too. But just to finish up, and Luke, we'll start with you on this one. Christine Sinclair's legacy, when we look back maybe 10, 15 years from now, what do you think it'll be? I love the fact that after the game, she talked about the fact that in 2012, they wanted to inspire a nation moving forward. And that looking around this stadium tonight and seeing all the boys and girls with Sinclair jerseys on the pitch and Canada soccer jerseys, she said, mission accomplished. And that has always been the theme of Christine Sinclair for as long as I've known her. Mm -hmm. It's selfless. It's not about her. It's about leaving the game and leaving this team in a better place moving forward. And there can be absolutely no doubt whatsoever that Christine Sinclair, that Sophie Schmidt, that Erin McLeod, who were all honored tonight, have done absolutely that. And, and Canada soccer is going to be feeling their effect for decades to come. Absolutely. You mentioned it earlier. I, 
that she hauled that 2012 team on her back, but really she hauled the entire program on her back. She put Canada soccer on the map and the program was largely built on the back of Christine Sinclair, whether she wanted it to be or not. And, uh, and, and I think that really is her legacy, a very positive and inclusive culture within the team. And, uh, and, and yeah, a real inspiration, not just, it's, it's gone beyond just being an inspiration to little girls. It's little girls, little boys, little, it's adults. Adults are kind of joining in and it's, it, it, it's not just soccer fans who comment on it. When I, you know, I leave Salt Spring Island to come here and do, do things like this. It's not just soccer fans who are talking about it. It's half my patients who don't watch soccer on a regular basis. They know about this team and they know about Christine Sinclair. That's the impact that she's had. She's brought attention to this team and to this program, not just a women's sports, but just a sport in general. And uh, Christine Sinclair finishes her career with a record 190 international goals. Just to give some context to the viewers, the next closest male player is Cristiano Ronaldo. He has 128 international goals, not even close. Uh, so he's no slouch, but he's no Christine Sinclair. Luke, Claire, you guys were great on Tuesday. Thanks so much for this. Thanks, Jay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sinclair retires after having scored the most ever goals in international soccer, as I just mentioned. She's also an Olympic gold medalist winning in 2020. In addition to two bronze medals in 2012 and 2016, she will continue playing with her NWSL club, the Portland Thorns, this season.